Hello, Tomislav Mestrovic uh, from Croatia. Uh, welcome. Can you maybe tell a little bit about yourself and then we go into the uh, early career network within the uh, European Sexual Medicine Network? Um, who are you? Well, uh, hello, Piet, and thank you for inviting me for this, I think, important interview. So I'm a, a, a medical doctor. Uh, this is my training from Croatia. I also did my PhD in chlamydia research. Uh, and later I uh, practice a lot, uh, especially considering men's sexual health and sexually transmitted infections. After that, I uh, pursued my Fulbright at the University of Washington in the States. And uh, I'm also a fellow of the Euro European Committee for Sexual Medicine. And uh, luckily, I've been able to uh, join the cost action the Cost Action European Sexual Medicine Network or ESMN and meet a lot of wonderful people and be uh, one of the lead players in establishing a more cohesive uh, early career or young research initiative. So, I Why is that important? Why, why, uh, why is it important to have that early career uh, initiative? Well, uh, during the first period of the Cost ESMN action, uh, the need to have a more formal individual subgroup that will specifically aim early career scientists and young experts and innovators became more and more evident. And from the start of the action, young and early career researchers were identified, but they were not completely co cohesive, I would say, as we expected maybe from the beginning of the action. So the plans to put an emphasis on the collaboration of young researchers and innovators and those who maybe recently entered the field uh, was led by the idea that this would strengthen the cooperation of stakeholders in sexuality and sexual medicine and in that regard sexual health at the European level as a whole. As a whole. And, and one of the reasons is that this would promote the exchange of information on skill gaps and future needs uh, among early career researchers at the European level with the inclusion maybe of specific mentoring practices for uh, 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 and steered towards establishing a sustainable research community. And this is why uh, we recently set the stage to give rise to the individual subgroup of the ESMN uh, cost action and we named it Alliance of Early Career Researchers and Innovators in Sexual Health and the founding document and inaugural structure uh, uh, of the leadership was approved and we are ready to start with the development of our ideas. And what are the what are the plans? Well, uh, we have many plans. Our idea is to use the knowledge and expertise and know-how of established researchers, uh, which are the part of the ESMN network, and develop joint projects and publications with members of the Alliance uh, or this subgroup and this is, I have to emphasize, be a subgroup of ESMN and other, other interested stakeholders. And in a way, the Alliance wants to provide a forum in which any problems can be addressed constructively and then resolved in a timely fashion. And the Alliance and this subgroup would like to make an impact in regards to how the education of young researchers in this field is approached. For example, uh, we would like to participate in the development of educational curriculums uh, which would be aimed to increase the theoretical and practical knowledge of young experts in the field and also then to integrate them into the national and international educational systems and also in the training curriculum. And our idea is also to prompt mutual collaboration of members and other early career researchers by offering a kind of support hub uh, in research methodology to enable, for example, joint data analysis members finding other members who have some specific expertise, organizing joint conferences, organizing visiting professors, uh, professor schemes or scholar schemes. In a way, everything we can do to bring the minds together. And mentorship is important. This is something that Alliance will actively engage in. Uh, we want to provide young researchers and innovators with the tools and through mentorship to navigate these unique challenges uh, they, pay, they face in this this stage of their careers because I believe uh, that can have a lasting impact on research capacity and their professional daily work and of course finally the plan is also to disseminate the research and the results of innovation by early career researchers in a way a, a specific platform on the ESMN cost action, action website will be used for that 
And as young researchers are often the prime candidates for different scholarships, we believe uh, giving a snapshot of regular information on opportunities in the form maybe of a newsletter would really be uh, of benefit for young researchers and innovators. So basically, this is a summary of planned activities. Yeah, it sounds sounds great. Um, do the early career group, does the early uh, career group plan uh, to set up studies? Yeah, uh, 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 we what plan to set up studies and we 